So this morning I sent off an email to um, one of my colleagues, Andy Robb, and asked him if he wouldn't mind sending me um, information on like 10 bars in Seattle where I could go. Um, it's not because I'm an alcoholic, it's just purely because I wanted to see if I could write an application with IE9 geolocation, which would determine how close I was to each different place. And because I was going to Seattle tomorrow, I thought, well, it's as good a thing to find as any. So uh, he's kindly sent me over these 10 bars. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to go and geolocate them. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you get the longitude and latitudes of, of various places. So, so Andy sent me through uh, these bar names. So one of them is the Frontier Room in Seattle. So if I just go and paste up the, the name of the place up here, Frontier Room Seattle. So it finds the location on the map. Um, if I go into uh, Developer Tools, F12, and uh, I'll pop over to the script tag here and uh, into console. And then inside console, you can just write and execute JavaScript on this page as if it was executing inside the page. So if I write something like document.write, and then um, in this uh, document.write, I call the, the map object, which is the uh, which is this map, map object here, and we call um, get center. We run that script. What should happen is the, the the center point in that map should then print out on the screen. So if I just go and take this uh, number one and put it roughly in the center, I don't really care about too much about the accuracy here. And then just click run script. Then it just prints out the uh, longitude and latitude of that location or the central point in that map. So I've taken each of the bars that Andy sent through to me and I've put them into um, an unordered, li unordered list um, item and I've given each one a list item, each bar a list item. Inside that list item I've placed uh, three divs, the first being the name and I've given it the class name, the second one being the longitude which I've given the class long and the third one being uh, latitude which I've given the class lat. Um, and he sent me 10 bars, so I put 10 different uh, list items in there, all the bars and all the longitudes and latitudes, which I worked through manually and recovered earlier. And then up the top here, I've added a style tag, which goes and finds anything with uh, anything inside an uh, honored list with a class of long or lat and just hides it from view. So that when you actually view this page, all you'll be able to see is the name of the bar and not these... Uh, rather unhelpful longitude and latitude figures. Next I added the link elements here and um, I've just put it to uh, a JavaScript function called find me. So when a user clicks on this link it's going to go and fire off this JavaScript event. So it's going to take a look at that find me event. What find me does, which is here, is it goes and checks that the uh, browser which is using, which is currently there, is, is, is capable of doing geolocation. So if uh, it has the geolocation object, um, if you're using IE9, it will. So it's going to fall into this next section, which is navigator.geolocation.watch position. Then you pass in two uh, functions. Um, so when the watch position is discovered on found, it's going to actually pass over to this function on found. It's going to delegate to this function on found. And if it errors, it's going to pass uh, delegate over to the on error function. So let's go have a look at the on found function, which is down here. So the on found fu function, um, once the watch position's found a position, it will call this function and it will pass in the object pos. Pos contains all the coordinates, um, the latitude and longitude, um, which it's found. So I just capture these two here into the uh, user lat uh, variable and user long variable and then for each of the um, elements inside the ul i'm using jquery here uh, i added the, a reference to jquery at the top to the microsoft cdn for, J, for jquery so for each element for each uh, list item in the um, unordered list we're going to loop through each of those and we're going to obtain the longitude and latitude elements I'm doing this by just finding um, the finding the element which has got a class uh, of dot .lat and pulling in the HTML, and then finding the element which has got a class of dot .long um, and then pulling in the HTML. So this will give me the long location uh, and lat and long. Um, so basically these figures here, you'll notice that the classes are lat and long. 
So that gives me the two, uh, two figures. I then use this little function which calculates the distance between the position which was passed in, the user lat and the user long, and the current position or the position of the pub or bar, whatever you want to call it. So this little function get distance goes and calculates the um, the distance between the two and it saves that distance variable. And then I attach that distance variable to the data element of the LI. So each LI now has a data element called distance attached to it. Um, this get distance, by the way, this function is, is pretty simple. Um, I actually wrote it years ago. I I'm, don't completely know how it works. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but it, it roughly figures out um, figures out how far away you are from um, a particular uh, longitude and latitude and um, returns a value which, which, which uh, denotes that distance. Okay, so yeah, it attaches that um, it attaches that value, and then it calls the function reorder. So what I'm left with now is my list of pubs, a list of bars. Um, each uh, element, each one of those bars, those li's, each one of those has now a distance attached to it. And so when I call the reorder, what I want to happen is for each of the elements, each of those li's, to be looped through, and then to find the one which is closest to me and put that one first, and then order them based on which one's closest to me. So We'll have a look at the, the function reorder. Now, ordering uh, a list item or an order of list in jQuery is seriously simple. So here we have um, the command which says, go and take the um, list items and sort them. And it delegates to this um, other function called sort alpha. Um, it's not actually sorting by alpha, so I should probably change that, but never mind. And then once it's done the sort, it appends to the, um, to the URL. So sort alpha, what it does, it, this will be an li object and this will be an li object. It just works out which one should be sorted first. So um, here we have the, um, we go and check the, the distance data object attached to, to the first parameter passed in. And then we check the dista, distance data attached to the second parameter passed in and we return true or false. And that determines the sort order. That simple little function there determines the sort order. And it will then reorder that um, user list. So so now when we go and click up in Visual Studio, um, if I go and click play button, so we have my little browser there and it's got find closest pub and we've got the list of all the pubs just in the traditional order, the order which it came out, uh, which I wrote them into the, the page. I click find closest pub and it pops up this uh, thing saying localhost, which is the website name, um, wants to track your physical location Shall I allow it once, or you can uh, you can do some options to allow only once or deny all the time and never tell me. But I'm going to allow this once, and it's going to run through, and it's going to reorder those. So I can tell that the closest bar in Seattle to my current location, which is Northampton in England, is Lava Lounge. Now this probably won't be very useful because this is always going to point to Lava Lounge for where I am. But when I'm in Seattle, I will be able to run this, and it will be able to tell me at that current point in Seattle what's the best bar. Uh, according to Andy Robb, which is closest to me. And uh, then I probably won't be able to attend because I'll be attending meetings. Um, I promise if anyone from Microsoft is watching, I will be attending meetings, not attending bars. Official. Thank you for watching.